Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with sweep feature and how to specify the end of the sweep feature. We will start from scratch with first extrude feature and we will create the base shape based on the dimension from the drawing what you have seen. For the second extrude feature we will create the datum plane and the orientation of the datum plane will be opposite like is defined here because I would like to directly with extrude feature orient correctly the side for extrude feature. We will specify the another dimensions and finish the sketch. You can see the system automatically select the correct orientation based on the definite datum plane orientation. For the sweep feature we will create a sketch and this sketch will be based on the two references and based on these references from the existing extrude feature we will create the two arcs with dimensions 35 and 75. I like to move with some objects in the sketch so you can see here that if I will create new dimensions and we will specify the new value it's really good if you will lock the dimensions for example for the arc so you can move with entity in the draw in the sketch and for the connection I will use the creation of tangent line and I will delete unnecessary extended line from the arcs. We will use the constraints and if you would like to move with some objects it's really good if you will create a dimensions here and again I like to use the lock of the dimensions. For the constraints you can select the entities or right mouse button and use the constraints. In the sweep feature this is the way we would like to, we would like to focus and in the sketch for the sweep feature we will specify only base shape yeah for example rectangle and set values and if you come from OK you can see here that connection between tangent edges and the sweep feature is not automatically connected. How to use it? Sometimes it's possible to use the merge ends but for this example you can see that system doesn't allow this option so I don't want to use the merge ends in this example yeah, but it's the possible to extend the end of the curve. So, for example, 10 millimeters on the left and 10 millimeters on the right, and then system automatically create corresponding shape for you. You can add missing features, for example, holes. Base it on the axis. So, select axis, control button, and top surface. And specify value and depth will be through all and you can copy and paste and the system will remember the diameter and the depth so you can change only the diameter and is everything specified then select uh, for example the another entities and features like a chamfer and specify the chamfer scheme you can predefine in configuration option default chamfer scheme and the system automatically reuse this chamfer scheme in the for the next features. So again over here specify value. Sometimes it's better if you select six, not sixty-five. Yeah. And again, some round features. So with control button select edges, and the system automatically apply all round feature on the in the one set you can finish 
or you can use the right mouse button and edit the value for example to number six and last round feature will be specified with dim dimensions 12 so in this example we have seen how it's possible to work with sweep feature and modify the end of the sweep feature stay tuned Vladimir